Now, here's the thing. I know I'm only allowed to do three things, but I have also read one of the High School Musical books. You, which one have you read? The first one. Is it good? Can I talk about it? Yeah, fucking hurry up, though. All right. <laughs> uh, so, did we mention on the on the episode oh where my it was God. my birthday... Yeah, we fucking did mention that I bought you them. All right, so Ellie bought me some high school musical books. I have oh read... my god, did we, did we mention this? Yeah. Oh, oh let me just mention it again. <laughs> I have Fuck read, me, Liam. I read High School Musical Stories from East High Number One Battle of the Bands by N.B. Grace. The, so, brief plot synopsis of this. East High is putting on its first ever Battle of the Bands. Troy and his basketball buddies are looking forward to living out their rock star fantasies and Sharpay has formed her very own girl group. But while Troy and Sharpay prepare to step into the spotlight, Gabriella and Ryan are left in the shadows. Gabriella keeps herself busy by tutoring Ryan, but she can't help wondering why Troy wouldn't want to join forces with her again. Didn't the two of them make a great team in the last musical? In the end, Gabriella might have to take the stage without Troy by her side. Here's the thing, right? Sometimes the writer, the author, I guess has done quite a good job of, like, capturing the characters and they sound believable, like Chad particularly. But then, like, Troy in this book does not sound like Troy in the movies. It's really weird. And you know There's how... the angry dance in it. There's none of that. There's no original, like, music in it either. Like <laughs> What? What? No original songs. So the, the songs that they perform, like, Gabriella performs These Boots Are Made For Walking, and it's just written, like... This is the song she's performing. It doesn't actually write out the lyrics or like describes her dance moves or any of that nonsense. It's just like for for, for a high school musical book that's all about Battle of the Bands. There's a real lack of actual music in it. Kelsey's barely in it, which is fucking bullshit. Um, for some reason, like Zeke and Jason are part of this band and they have like not significant roles, but they're in it more than I was expecting. Two new characters who I've never even heard of called Charlotte. And Alicia are in Sharpay's group, as well as Taylor for some like awkward, oh, we need to shoehorn in someone that people have heard of, so let's do Taylor. It's just, it's really bad. Like, I wasn't expecting it to be brilliant, but the writing style is just not great. Um, I'll, I'll give it credit. Like, it used uh, Duplicitous, which I thought was quite bold for this, for a book probably aimed at a much younger reading level. I thought that was a good word for them to use. But. That's like the highest praise I can give this book. One out of five. Awesome. That's exactly what I wanted. I'm not looking forward to reading the others. Can I just point out my favourite thing of that review, Liam? Yeah. When you said there is not enough music in this book. 